Hey guys, in today's video, I want to share with you guys, as usual, my follow-up thoughts on iOS 12, this case Beta 9. I've had it installed for approximately three to four days. Apple released it on Monday the 20th, so I've had it installed since then. And I do want to share with you guys my thoughts on the software in regards to battery performance, any new features and changes. I also want to talk about features to expect in the future before iOS 12 is officially released. And last but not least, I also want to talk about when we can expect the next version of iOS 12, Beta 10. So let's begin. So first up, I want to talk about features that are going to be missing from iOS 12 official launch and also talk about features that we're still anticipating to make their debut with the next beta. First up, if you didn't know, group FaceTime is no longer going to be a thing with iOS 12. So if you're expecting group FaceTime, it is not going to be shipping with the final version of iOS 12. It will be shipping later, maybe with iOS 12.1 or who knows, maybe it'll be delayed even further. But Apple is said to be debuting Siri Shortcuts as well, which is an application that's yet to make its debut on the developer betas or public betas for iOS 12. Now you can request the Siri Shortcuts application to internally test. Apple has selected uh, several developers to do so, but the application has yet to make its debut to the masses in regards to developers and public beta testers. So I'm a little concerned that this may not make the final cut for iOS 12. We'll have to wait and see if Apple does release it with the next beta, but we'll get to that in a few seconds. Now I also want to talk about performance. Performance has been incredible across the board. I've seen a lot of people reports that older devices like the iPhone 7, like the iPhone 6, the iPhone SE, those devices are performing very, very well with the latest Beta 9. And I also want to talk about the battery because the battery has been pretty good since Beta 5 on up. Remember, we had that little slump on Beta 4, but then we came back up in Beta 5 and it continues to be great battery. You see here the on-screen time, 7 hours and 58 minutes. That's pretty much 8 hours of on-screen time and then 24 minutes of off-screen. I also want to shift my attention over to iPads. I don't talk much about iPads, but iOS 12 has been treating my iPad phenomenal. It's been such a great experience. iOS 12 has been phenomenal on the iPad. All my HomeKit setups are looking great. Everything is running smooth. I don't have any complaints whatsoever in iOS 12 in regards to the iPad when it comes to the latest beta. So if you have an iPad and you want to update to iOS 12, this will do wonders for your device, adding new features and also improvements in performance. Now, control center is up at the right, here, right, top right. Get used to that because that's with iOS 12. It's no longer going to be integrated like iOS 11 within the app switcher. So that's something you're going to have to get used to. But in terms of features, changes, performance, everything else with iOS 12 on iPads is been phenomenal. And last but not least, I want to talk about when we can expect the next beta for iOS 12, beta 10. Now, if history is any indication, Apple, we already know that's on a one week beta release cycle. So the next beta, you guessed it, it's on Monday the 27th at the latest, the 28th on the Tuesday. But I think Monday, that's where my money's at for beta 10. Now, hopefully with beta 10, Apple should be releasing Siri shortcuts to developers. We'll have to wait and see. I can't wait for that application to hit the mainstream, if you will. So every Everyone can start testing it before its official launch, as I mentioned. I'm a bit skeptic that Apple hasn't placed this app inside of iOS 12 as of yet, and uh, they may delay it if we don't see this uh, come out to the light uh, for the general public here or developers and public beta testers here shortly. So uh, Siri Shortcuts is really, really something that's going to take Siri to the next level because it's going to give you custom commands, and you don't have to be specific with Siri. So Hopefully, Apple can push that in time in order for iOS 12 to be shipping with that feature. Now, in regards to stability and improvements, everything is running just fine. Don't expect any major new features to be released from Apple in the next several weeks as iOS 12 wraps up and ramps up to be officially released to the general public. What we will see is just bug fixes under the hood improvements, stability, and things that are needed before its official launch in the next several weeks. So this was my quick follow-up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.